Yeah, look, I I have to get things uh, to be done, and not only that, this is uh something that I have to focus on about on schoolwork and everything, and I'll just call you later. Um, I'll see you later. See ya. Oh, oh, hey, how's it going, everybody? So over the last three weeks, based on the last quick update video and the last few episodes of the Backrooms All Seen, I've been working on and posting these videos as best as I can just to get them out as soon as possible. And this is something I really wanted to do. And this video in particular is talks about what's really been going on throughout this year, what's been going on about this special topic I'm I'm going to um, make and this is never done on the channel before but I really was trying to get away from this but this has to be done either way because this is very important as we speak and now oh, what the heck why did why did the light change is it because of the yep it's because it's because of goddamn uh it's the goddamn uh sun of the clouds blocking it <laughs> but um yeah so basically if you haven't seen the last uh, episode of the Backroom Soul scene of Gaming Revel Gaming Revelations, this is basically the last episode for now until the final three episodes that will be for Gaming Revelations to be ending off the first season of Gaming Revelations ever. That's a mouthful to say, but with that... If you haven't seen the first video from me in general, please consider subscribing to my channel and smash that like a button on this video as for um, future more more future videos I meant to say. And if you you guys can check out my other videos just like the one I mentioned. And yeah, let's get on to what's been really happening. What what's going on basically? <laughs> so for a while after. The gaming revelation, the backrooms all seeing videos, and with that, with that quick update video that will be appearing on the screen, um, I'll say this: my life is like kicking, kicking me right into my own face. School is starting to like spin as a freaking dumpster fire for some odd reason, out of the blue, but not as much if you think about it for all the classes that I went through but except one in particular that is really kicking my butt here trying to keep that trying to keep that grade as soon as possible to stay where it is unless it's going to go down if you know what I mean but um I've been cleaning around my kitchen I've been cleaning the dishes thanks to my dad to try to help out with with the pots, couple of pots of pans, including all the cups and everything, just to put them all away. I just also just cleaned the the, the counter of my kitchen of my kitchen, of our, of our kitchen, I would say. My bad. And with that, as of as as of recording this, this is something I wanted to tell you guys what I've been doing, as well as oh my god, here goes the sun again. But, um, when it comes down to the things that I really want to say within this video, this is why it's a little bit more different this time. Or, oh, there it goes again. Why does it keep on changing it? Why does it keep on changing the projector? Cloud, stop. <laughs> this is something that has never happened in my videos, but hey. <laughs> but, um, the, th the thing here is, is that I've been cleaning around the around the kitchen, starting to actually get my laundry down for the very first time around during that gap in between, and try to do something a little bit more different, a different style, I would say. And not only that, I've been trying to kind of like also get the second Stone Bronzer monthly post to go in. Well, actually, I'm gonna start to do that actually. That was kind of a little bit of a lie right there, but that's okay. 
I always do mess up on my wording, but you kind of get it, you kind of understand it. But um, so in the simplest form, my life is doing okay. There's nothing really too going on. And now let's talk about the year. Now, when it comes down to the year of itself, 2024 so far, in general wise, besides my life, how is it going? Um, it's very mixed. <laughs> There's a lot of things I really wanted to kind of forget. There's so many things that is so out of context that should never came into existence. If you know what I'm, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But like, in the simple context here, a lot of shit is happening all at once in this one big bubble that's going to be popping out very soon. And the biggest one out of the bunch, it is something I really, again, I really do not want to talk about this, but it has to be talked about either way. But at the same time. It's like, this is something we had to keep this in consideration. So, in this year so far, um, we got some new Android phones within this year. We got some weird-ass products that are basically a failure. Um, and then you got the iPhone 16 lineups that just happened since, we're, since it's another set of phones. And... And other products that has been coming out within this year, including some new apps and all that stuff. But one form factor that is really happening in the United States specifically, in general, is about these this um this election that's happening on November fifth. And right now, as we speak, we're on November second, as right now recording this video, trying to get this video out later on for you guys to see. Which you guys are watching right now, and uh, yeah, let's just let's get on over to the to the election section. Now, with the election as a whole, what has been happening uh, in summer or before summer, we had this uh, terrible debate between the orange clown himself. I'm not going to say his name because I completely despise his name. That's my saw my own opinion, and then you got Joe Biden as the president. Of the United States as we see as we speak right now until he's gone out of the office um, th that debate from early on within the year was <laughs> it was a wild it was a wild thing to see but at the same time if you think about it it's actually boring it was like the most boring uh, debate ever. It was not even close to the other debates that we've seen in the United States' history. However, though, in during summer, the Orange Clown literally almost got assassinated. Twice, actually. Twice. The first time, it was very close. And I don't know how did he survive. He's very lucky on that. But at the same time, I don't respect him at all. I do not. And I mean it. If my friends are watching this, especially people in general wise, don't put hate comments on the on the video. It's just my own opinion, okay? But um, another thing that happened is that Joe Biden was dropped out of the race. He made a message about that on July 21st. And yes, I do remember that date in this year. So gladly I do remember that. And not only that, we got the Vice President of the United States right now, Kamala Harris, has stepped in. And so far, this is a close race that I'm seeing between the Democrats and the Republicans of Harris and the Orange Clown himself. And not only that, what I'm going to tell you is something that is like a, a theorizable, like my own final predictions here, what this can go as... There's going to be like a two timeline split. Uh, well, this is not a good representation. It's like a split off. Kind of like, you know, Back to the Future Part 2 is where Doc explains where the timeline gets skewed off like this. And yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> That's what we're seeing here. And the one thing I have a rant. Uh, the one thing I rant about this. Uh, I really want to rant about this. Um, not this video, but like 
ranting about this whole entire thing that's been going on for in the entirety after these four years or almost four years of Biden being as the president. Oh boy. Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, I meant to say, she's not a bad person in my own opinion because one, she's relatable. She understands what the people want for a lot of reasons, especially for democracy. And not only that, what makes it uh what makes it worse is like a lot of these undecided voters don't know who's going to choose until the election day like that's your guys' opinions but you're going to make it quick because I don't know who's going to win you know what i mean but now when it comes to the orange clown himself oh my god this is a rant i always want to do it for a long time i have to do this but he's literally, literally speaking like a three-year-old. I'm not making this up. He's literally speaking about uh, some weird-ass sentences that's coming out of his mouth. And it's so, oh, my God. He literally goes to one beginning sentence with, throughout his entirety of his interviews and rallies that he does. And then all of a sudden, it cuts to another thing. Where he starts talking with another sentence. And it goes back to the first sentence that he was trying to spoke about. And it makes no sense. Like literally. It makes no sense. In a particular way. And not only that. What makes it worse. The re nightmare reality. That we see. From that reality. Of this. So go back to this. For a second. If Harris wins. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. If she wins. Things can go in the right direction somewhat based on bias opinions. But if the orange clown wins somehow in sort of way, and like there's more information that you guys need to like search up before doing these weird comments out of this video or hate comments for that matter. But if he wins in this route instead of this route, we're, we're basically fucked. I'm not even kidding. Like, literally. Everything that's going to happen... What's going to happen is this. After Biden leaves, in that reality specifically, what I was talking... What I'm actually talking about is that... The orange man himself, aka the orange clown of, him of himself, wants to basically get rid of everything. He does not like equal equality. That really pisses me the fuck off. Because not only that... He, he wants everybody, including myself, because I'm half black and half white, basically I'm mixed, to be removal from the country. Just only white. It makes no sense here. And not only that, everything that's throughout the entirety of the United States, the United States history, from the, um, from the Revolutionary War of where the United States began, and the Boston Tea Party, everything that's from the beginning... Or during the time of the 1700s. All that. All the way until today. As we see. That's throughout that history. From the civil rights. The brown berets. Trying to get their uh, head straight. Or trying to get them. You know what I mean. There's a lot of topics I really want to talk about. But I can't really put them all into one thing. But you guys should know exactly what I mean. But like I said. All that. From all this timeline, all the way until now, as we see, including the stuff that he fucked up into during his first term, all that right here will be wiped off of the face of the earth. The United States will be the United, won't be the United States anymore. But let me tell you, is that no matter what timeline we're going in, all I can say is please be Godspeed. <laughs> All I can say is please be Godspeed. Please be wise about what you're making of these decisions. And try to make sure you survive. Because <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. Okay? I know I, I, know I sound like uh, a broken record here. But I'm not making this up. Like I'm actually seeing two different sides. And I'm more of like more of the blue side. I'm not really like a full on Democrat just yet. I'm more of an undecided person, but keep this in mind that 
it just mind boggles to me that this orange man himself wants to basically remove everything that the United States actually stands for and goes back to the time where everything was not good. I'll tell you that. Anyways, with the election coming up in our noses within the next three days, just keep this in mind that there's going to be a, a review part of the video that I really want to get into uh, after the election. Basically, I'm going to be seeing how the election will go on that day, on Tuesday, and see how that's going to go. <clears throat> and what I wanted to say is that let's see how that goes, how would this will turn out, and I will basically do a, a, a review video after this video in particular. Also, I forgot one more thing about the my life part is that there is a lot of new information within the entirety of this school year that I'm in, the final school year as as of, as we speak so far. Uh, it's actually some good news and also some terrible news, if I would say. But all that will be in a future video of next year, depending how that's going to go after the election. And everything else of this year as a whole, there's going to be a final video about the year as a whole on December 28th. That's the date that I, that I am actually keeping as a promise of. But that's pretty much it for this video. All I wanted to do is kind of do like an update video about what's really happening with me and really what's been happening with the election so far up until November 5th. Who knows? We just we just need to play the cards right. All I can say is we need to play the cards right and get the right direction going. If we don't, we're screwed either way and we have to survive. Other than that, this is it of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I do. Again, please smash a like and Consider subscribe to my own channel to see more videos like this in the in the near future in general And also you can check out my previous videos once again, and I hope you guys enjoyed more of the videos down the road and I think that's pretty much it for me, and I'll see you guys Later also keep this in mind the second stone and bronzer monthly post is going to be releasing during the end of November, and I'll see you guys all there. Stay fresh, everybody.